Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with a multi global game jam. Uh, the global game jam is a huge game jam that happens at physical locations all around the world. I'm playing all the games made at the physical location in Malta. Um, there are about 12 games entered from this region, from this location, and I'm playing each one for about a minute. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further. I don't normally cover the Global Game Jam because it is quite massive and a lot of the games are multiplayer, but I am going to be covering the ones from Malta. Um, in the description is also my info, so you can check me out further. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. Next! We're playing back Quellier. After years of forgotten memories, the world's consumed by waves of shadows once again. Those who capitalized on destruction enslaved the rest and made them fight to the death, sometimes even against their own kin. With a radioactive ball chained to you, he must go out and survive. Back I don't know how I said it. Yeah, the quail. This is a two-player game. We're using controllers. Lewis is playing with me because it's a two-player game. There we go. Who am I? I'm the red one. Oh, wow. That was really fast. I kind of assumed. Don't. Oh, did that make you sort of jump? How about you don't and avoid it? Ooh. You still killed me. Can you just stand still for a minute? To the floor. Yeah, can you yeah. just stand still for a minute? I wanna see what this wave does. Yeah, I think the wave just moves you. I guess you use it to... Use it? To... Yeah. Wow, I can't even, like, just avoid your ball. I suck. So there's a lot of momentum involved in stretching it out to get a full range. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I like slow mode and everything. Green right. player, wow, you won so badly. This is a really cool idea. I like it. I like it too. Let's do one more. I feel like I need to at least, you know, hit you. I feel like I'm not good with. Ah, <laughs> I like how it slow mode. Ah, fine, you can win. Next, we're playing Blighter's Locker. This game is only one player, so I will be playing it. Alright. There are some pirates. I think I throw things at them. And not die. Ah, oh, so we got him. That's two. There's lots of pirates, so I guess pirates are attacking the town. And we're stopping them. Because we're a good citizen. I like the graphics for this, they're quite nice. So many of them though. What are you doing, pirate? How do you know how to cat guy? Dying. I give up on you. Oh, got a man there. So you slowly kill them all. Neat. Next. We're playing a deep seaman. It's deep, it's dark, it's disco. This is like a three player game, I think. I'm the red ship. I don't know what the controls are. I think we're not supposed to get away from him. No. No. Yeah. This is our favorite little king whale. I love the whales for apples. So many of them. There has to be a way to shoot. Is there a way to shoot, you think? Are you pressing the button to try to I think the whale died. Oh, what? Apparently it's our job to flash lights, but I don't know what button flashes lights. Not any of these, not any of the sh Oh, it's the other, it's the D-pad. D-pad, Which is a bit 
a bit weird, but okay. I think you need to do this one because it's yellow. Oh, this is gonna make this game hard. Can you flash this guy? Sure, but I really like the graphics and the direction this game is going in. Next. We're playing down with this sort of thing. It's two player. Lewis is playing on a keyboard. How to play. Protesters, your goal is to dis disturb, disturb? Disrupt. disrupt police by chanting slogans into, their mic into the microphone. Police, your job is to hold the line using the mouse, trace the chant sound waves. Both parties may press a key when a bonus bubble floats into view. Alright, so I don't know if you're supposed to press B in it. I press A. Is it when I, yeah, when I shout into my microphone, it's going up. So I think you might need to actually talk into the mic. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's making a difference when, when you make noise. Yeah, so it actually needs a microphone, that makes sense. Police win. Yeah, I kind of cheated though, so that's okay. So you have to talk. Okay, I'm talking really loudly. Screw you, you police. To, you Screw you, police. Yell. You don't need to yell. <laughs> I don't really understand. When you talk, it moves the sound waves. Right. Okay. So when so they're I... chanting, which you can't hear because I am not professional. Yep. Oh no, not that. I just don't have a headset. Yeah, I don't have a secondary headset. However. My talking is messing up my the line as well. So this when I push buttons, what happens? Nothing. I'm pushing these buttons. Well, when when that one appears, it gives you like a bit of a bonus. Okay, so if I keep talking and do this, it gives, it gives you a bit you, of a bonus. When I push them both, it gives you me don't. A bonus. You can't push both. You just push the red one, honey. Oh, I push I'm the blue one. I'm actually like sabotaging myself. Yeah, you are. And if you talk in different volumes and you talk quite a bit, then the the line goes up and down a lot, and it's harder for me to keep up. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I get it. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Fuck this. We are against something. <laughs> Perfect. Next. We're playing Dreamscape. This is single player, so it's just me. So, what is it? So, oh, I kind of thought that was on that side, but it's in the middle. That switches everything around. Hmm. I was just seeing what controls uh, day and night. It's left and right shift. So that's like daytime. Daytime, we're very much outside of the cave. Huh. Alright, this is a pretty interesting looking game. It's quite cool. There's like two different worlds. This is weird. So, yeah, okay. We obviously don't want to be there. Let me switch between day and night because it doesn't exist there on the other time. I'm not sure where we're trying to go to. Very interesting, though. Next, we're playing Paper Voyage. <laughs> We're trying to, whoa, sink these boats by throwing rocks by them. I lose. Oh, maybe I need to do the opposite? Yeah, I sort of lied. You want to use the ripples to move the boat kind of gently into the dock, maybe? In the top corner? See, now that kind of filled the boat a bit with water. Up. You're almost there. You're fine. Good job, boat. Yeah. I mean, does 
that count? Yeah, I think that counted. It's a very interesting game. I've never seen one like it. Oh, I lose. Darn it. Next. We're just going to talk about this game. It's called Storylines. It's like a non-digital game, so it's a board game. It's a storytelling party game. Players come up with parts of a story using writing prompts combined with words chosen by the players. Players win by having their words chosen as a continuation of the story as voted by the other players. So every player takes five cards from the stack of face-down word cards in each round. A prompt card is randomly picked and placed on the table. Each player chooses a word for each blank on the card, then places the word face down the table. All the words are then revealed. The first player picks by placing markers as many words from the table as there are blanks on the prompt card and combines them... Combines the words of the prompt card to make up a story and tell it to the other players. This is repeated uh, for each player as they take turns telling the version of the story. The following players may use the same words, blah, blah, blah. So these are what the cards look like. It looks like we tried to blank, but a blank gave us away. And so you've got like walk, hate, yawn, crouch, ride. We tried to ride, but a sneeze gave us away. We tried to kick, but a sneeze gave us away. And then you have to tell a story around that. So it doesn't have a download for the cards or anything, but it looks like a fairly interesting game. Next. We're playing Snapped. Probably. Probably how you say it. Journal entry 616. It's done. The neuron drive is finally complete. Alright. With this machine, I should be able to insert myself into the minds of my beautifully deranged patients. Once inside, I can reconnect their damaged brainwaves and create a stable connection that should theoretically cure them, or at least make them stop trying to eat each other. Of course, there's no point in having a machine if you're not going to use it. Recently, nope. a new patient has been admitted by the name of Brian Wade. The man used to be a comic book writer when the fiction business went to his head and he completely snapped. Okay, now so he runs around the asylum telling everyone he's the friendly neighborhood snowman. The case shouldn't be too hard. Just get in, fix the guy up, and leave in no time. Alfred thinks I should run some tests first, but I believe this machine is ready for a proper run. So we need After to connect all, the worst that can happen. these things together. Like this one's a caution. I don't know, it's a caution cone and axe. Nope, that's not right. Uh, a snowman and an axe? No. I'm gonna just do this by trial and error because I have no idea how these things are related. A chest? Nope. I got one of them already, but. I don't know. A chest and a bus? No. These are connected for a telephone and a radio. I felt like they were both technology. So I don't know if that's how they all work. A map and a chest, they're related. Yep, there we go. I like the whole lion thing. You're a snowman. What's related to a snowman? I don't know that anything here is. Oh, related to a snowman. It's a toilet. Oh. What's related to any of this? How do people relate other people to people and things? I don't know. A man and a snowman? Is that how you related those? Nope. It's a very interesting game, being inside someone's brain and trying to figure out how they relate one thing to another. And just fixing those connections. I don't know how I found that toilet before. Oh, it's up there. So maybe he's related to the toilet? Yes. Okay. What a weird world. Next. We're playing tactical shouting. We only have one microphone, so we'll see how this works. I don't quite understand it, but it's shout to play. How loud do I have to shout? I don't really like shouting. Shout. shout. Shouting. Okay. Three, two, so I'm going to be the goblin, I think. The bardo begin. Uh, oh. No. I'm the goblin, so I think I get to go first. Right? Right? Nope. It's you. Rawr! I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we go. So I shot something in here. Then you gotta go. Rawr! It's, it's too late, your thing went away. Oh. So, rawr! Nope, now it's yours. Rawr! You gotta get closer, I bet. Rawr! <coughs> nope, you got hit. I got another one, you gotta get closer. Ow! You gotta get closer. I'm, cl I'm right next to uh. it. <laughs> okay, hello? Nope. Rawr! Nope. Shouting! 
<coughs> Rawr, maybe you do need a second microphone. But I don't have a second microphone. Loud noises! Yeah, I think yeah. we might need two microphones. Anyway, it's a pretty interesting idea. I like Next. It. We're playing trigonometry. Choose okay. your clapper. All right, can yep. you? All right, you're good. I'm gonna choose this girl. No, I'm gonna choose this. Delary. Delary. Mr. You. It's actually Mr. You. We're dying. We're dying. We need money. We have losers. We have losers. The big lie. Obamacare. Five billion. We spent on a website. I hire people. They do a website, it cost me three dollars. I like China. I just sold an apartment for fifteen million dollars to somebody from China. They have bridges that make the George Washington Bridge look like small potatoes. Make America great again. We're dying. We're dying. We need money. Actually, really quite funny. Conan. Conan. Duke. Duke. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're dying. We're dying. So we need right. money. I like China. I just sold an apartment for fifteen million dollars to somebody from China. They have bridges that make the George Washington Bridge look like small potatoes. But Mr. Trump. You we're playing Wibbly Wobbly Wobots. Um, it's two to four players. I'm playing with Lewis. Controller. Press A to join. Bam. I don't know which one I was, though. Player one. Press start. Okay. I am the red one. So you can kind of hold and release. I like charge. Bam. I'm going to push a rock into you. I think that's how I went. Bam. Oh. Didn't quite work. There's also a dash that you can use. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of like weebles. Weebles wobble. <laughs> but they don't fall down. How do I get you? Yeah, I'm not sure how you kill me. It doesn't really say how I kill you, just like maybe slamming into your work. Bam! That doesn't really do anything. Ah. I like our uh, main characters though. Wind coming through. Bam. All right, next. Last but certainly not least, we're playing the game Entrapped. I'm sorry this video is not of higher quality. I just realized that my settings were all messed up from before I went away. Um, regardless, this game is a bit weird. Half, like, one player plays on a computer screen, the other player plays on a tablet, or a phone, or an Android device. Um, and it's a bit cut off even though I picked full screen. Sure, allow access. Oh, great, it minimized it. Nah, I don't know if that broke it. Okay. I think you need to scream into that, or hit fire or something, maybe? Hit fire. Does that do anything? Does it do anything on the tablet? Don't just tap it. Um, no, nothing's happening on the tablet. Okay, well, nothing's happening on the tablet. I don't know how I'd sync the tablet with the actual game. Fire? Uh, um, courage isn't very high. Looking into it, it looks like we need to download a LAN program and then sort of sync everything together, which is something that I am not prepared to do at this moment in time. I like the look of the little wizard kids and the ghosts. I like the fact that they took the time to make the controller a cell phone, um, which is pretty neat. I guess ideally Lewis would yell into the controller and that would charge my scream, and then I think I get to fire at the ghosties based on the charge that he gives me. I think that might be it, um, but unfortunately we can't really do that. So this is it. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Bye.